Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a weird, uh, different setup, but we're making it work. I am John. I am Dante. Dante is at his house. I am at mine, but together we are still Staff Club Wrestling. How are we? We can still do it, John. I am doing What do we good. do it well, to? Do we do it to our camera? I'm doing it to the camera. Yeah, or yeah, just whatever. We're making it work. We're still kind of working remotely right now, John. Uh, so this is what we're working with right now. Don't worry. We'll be going back to old format eventually. Well, not eventually. We're going to get back to old like format. Like next week. Very soon. Yeah. Like next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not making it sound like we're doing this for a long time. Sophie's here. Don't worry. She's going to be reading off a Christmas quiz, I believe, John. Is that what we have? So, so in honor of today being Christmas Eve, Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. We are doing a holiday slash Christmas themed wrestling quiz so read us that fat email hey john dante and sophie so glad the three of you are back i couldn't leave out the voice of stash club wrestling sophie thank you <laughs> this quiz is solely based on christmas themed moments throughout wrestling history it's not limited to one promotion or one time period all questions are worth one point unless stated otherwise both john and dante can skip any one question they choose between questions one and 14 and in exchange receive two points it does not what? have to be the same question for both and they can decide after the question is revealed whoa so it's like a freebie, kind of. I guess so. I'll play by their rules. Okay, so, so it's okay. So yeah. fourteen questions, he um, says. So we'll do thirteen regular one wager, and then one we can just get two points for. All right. Hey, I mean, this is what this guy wants us to do. So who read the awful. who sent the email? Jonathan. 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 Thank you, Jonathan. Awful lot of rules being. I thought we were the ones yeah. making it. I don't know yeah. about. All right, Sophie. I noticed that you chose a different email than I sent you. Could you please read the Christmas Carol sent from the other person? From Jacob S. in Michigan. Uh, jingle bells. John's. John Stash smells Dante all the way. Is wait, what? <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> you wanted her to you, read. Yeah, it. wait. I didn't pre-read it. I thought it was gonna be nice. <laughs> Um, I didn't scan finish the finish fucking finish thing. All okay. Right, oh, what fun it is to do a quiz uh, with the Stash Boys. Hey, Merry Christmas season, one and all. Oh, thank you. Who so I think your I, th I think your melody was a little. Off. Um, <laughs> I, I was. was uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, this is from Jacob S in Michigan. Ah, um, but hey. yeah, thank thanks, Jacob. Happy holidays, Jacob. Thank you very Happy much. Holidays. All right. Okay. Hit all us, right. Uh, I'm down. I'm down to get started. John, good luck, sir. Good luck. On December 23rd, 2013 episode of Raw, there was a Good Santa versus Bad Santa match in the Battle for Christmas. Which wrestlers were Good Santa and Bad Santa? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, bonus. Who won the match? Okay, of course. Good Santa, Bad Santa. This is going to be rough, dude. 2013? Mhm. Mm I think I think I think we're in I think we're in for another for another tough quiz. Maybe in the new year we'll start doing easy ones. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, the there's a lot, there's a big more. gap in between, like, I can't tell you I was sitting by my TV watching these Christmas edition mm -hmm. of uh, WWE over yeah. the last few years. I'm just trying to take the year into account and trying to think of guys. Well, um, I got a couple of guesses here. I'm going to circle, okay, winner. Yeah, I'm underlining my winner. I'm also writing on a piece of paper. Uh, I don't have a whiteboard with me. So again, <laughs> making do with what we got here. Three, two, one. I have John Cena as... Good Santa versus Big Show Bad Santa and Cena one. I have uh Good Santa is Mark Henry, Bad Santa is the Big Show, Ooh. uh, and Good Santa one. It is Mark Henry and Damien Sando. Sandow. Sandow. Okay. And Mark Henry, aka Good Santa, won the match. Okay. So, so what do we? You get a point for do? the winner. You pick the winner, so you okay. get a point for the winner. Yeah. So we would have like gotten a, we would have gotten I a think, point if we got I both Santas right. Yeah, yeah, I think All that right. would have been a possible two pointer. We'll give you one. I'll take we'll a give point. You one. I'll take yeah, a point. Absolutely. Honestly, I'll be completely honest with you. That I thought of Henry Big Show because of the years and stuff like that, but I was like, I feel like those are both bad Santa. So that's why I didn't I didn't roll with it. But yeah, I wasn't I sure Henry who was a good one. Yeah, I wasn't sure who was heel and face at the time, but who knows? All right. Okay, this one's a, a mouthful, but okay. it's a, a multiple choice, so that's good. Uh, which of the following is true about the triple threat intercontinental title match that aired on, on December 22nd, 2015 episode of SmackDown between Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, and Kevin Owens? A, <laughs> this match actually aired on December 21st, 2015. What the fuck? This is B, so stupid. B, Kevin Owens retained his Intercontinental Championship by pinning Dolph Ziggler. C, Dean Ambrose re regained his Intercontinental Championship by pinning Kevin Owens. 
D, this match lasted for over 15 minutes. E, what? none e? of the yeah. above. There's an E and none of the above, of course. <laughs> none of the above. All right, what year was this? <laughs> 2015. 2015, okay. What? What are I we hate on right I think this is my least favorite question we've ever been asked. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, so, did it actually just, air mm, okay. on... December 21st. <laughs> what kind of option is that? I don't remember. I don't even remember don't Kevin Owens shit. having an IC title. I'm trying to think. End of 2015. Oh, man. I don't remember the, the letter. <laughs> Sophie, I hate to ask you. Can you give me the options again? <laughs> A, yeah. this match actually aired on December 21st, 2015. So stupid. B, Kevin Owens retained his inter- Intercontinental Championship by pinning Dolph Ziggler. C, Dean Ambrose re- regained his Intercontinental Intercontinental yep, Championship by pinning Kevin Owens. D, this match lasted for over 15 minutes. E, none of the above. All right, I got my answer. I also saw you write when she said C, so I also did two, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> my answer is C. C. Uh, it is actually E. None of Na- the above. None of the above. <laughs> no shot. Na- naturally, none of the above. Uh, I was pretty fair. close to picking it. <laughs> Jane Ambrose retained his title by pinning Dolph Ziggler on uh, December the 22nd, 2015, episode of, of SmackDown. Of course. This match has been on for 13 minutes and 30 seconds. Awesome. Is that fast or slow? That's good pace. It's like an average TV match. That's, that's an good, average that's TV match. Piece. Yeah. All right. This is making me hate Christmas. Wow. He really went mm-hmm. deep into some of these questions, mm-hmm. huh? All right. Number three. Also, multiple choice. No. Um. No, this one's much easier. How did Dean Malenko defeat Ray Odyssey for the ECW World TV Championship at the ECW Holiday Hell 1994? Get the fuck out of here. Who's A- Ray Odyssey? <laughs> A. Pinfall. B. <laughs> Submission. C, this is so stupid. Knockout. D. Knockout. Dean did not. Dean did not defeat Ray. E. This match did not take place at the 1994 Fuck Holiday Hell pay per view. I wasn't even born in. <laughs> Bro. What is that? A through D. A through E, actually. Yes. A through oh e. my fucking god! All right. What's... <laughs> How did Dean Malenko win? And one of the options is he actually did win. What is what's D and E? Is E none of the above? What's D? <laughs> D and D um, is he didn't win, and he the... didn't take place. Yeah. on that day yes all right i got my answer why why is that an option why are you why you, I, try to throw what, you I wasn't even born in 94 how would i know if it took place on a specific day or not yeah i didn't go back and watch the ecw 1994 christmas special oh my gosh okay you ready three two one b uh i think submission i put d the match didn't take place no <laughs> d is no d is he didn't win oh that's what i mean that's what i mean he didn't win <laughs> Uh, it's B submission. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is Give stupid. Give me one. Give me one. I'm on the board. This match is this. This quiz is gonna turn me to the Grinch. True or false? The main event of the first ever AEW Holiday Bash was between the Young Bucks and the Acclaimed for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Oh, is this true or false? Yes. I'm gonna need you to repeat that one more time. Please. Okay. The main event of the first ever AEW Holiday Bash was between the Young Bucks and the Acclaimed for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. This is very specific. This is like very. Mm. All of these are bad. Now that I'm looking. All of these are bad. I like, hate all to of hear these that. are just like bad questions. I hate to hear that. There's so many rules. So many rules. Uh, and I don't know. Three, two, one. I said false. I also said false. It is true. Nice. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> six, 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 six. Only reason no, I no. put false is because I thought like I thought that would have been brought up or something that like, oh, like they tried for the titles before. I didn't know the cl- the acclaimed had a nope. title shot. All right, one to one. All right, All right, on to five. I feel good about this next one. Okay. For question five, whoever is closest receives one point. Being spot on receives two points. Okay. So what was Dave Meltzer's rating for the Hardy Boys versus Eminem, Mercury, Nitro, and Molina match at ECW's December to December? Oh, December, December to, to December. December. <laughs> December to dismember. Yeah. December to dismember. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Do you want me to say that all again? I, I got what you said. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, well, what, where did you rate the match? It was an awful pay per view. I know that. Like one of the worst ever. This must be like a funny rate. Like the rating must <laughs> mean something. Right. Like if he. Maybe it was like the only good match on the card or something like that. Or maybe it was just awful too. Uh, um, three, two, one. Ready? Yep. Two stars. 
Three stars. All right, John gets a point. Uh, it is 3.25 stars. Woo! I didn't know which direction they were going. Like, just a uh, shitty event, shitty rating just for every match, or that was, like, the one of the only good matches. Which is I'll be smart. honest. The only reason I chose three is because it's the number in the middle. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Good odds. Yeah. Good odds. Yeah. All right. Six. Number six. The December 21st, 2020 episode of Raw featured a six-man holiday street fight. How many viewers did the first hour draw on the USA? What? It's a multiple choice, right? A, 1,812,000. This is insane. 1,822,000. I got I'm just choosing a letter. Or none of the above. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. No, that's... A through E. Um, yeah. you, did you just pick a random one? Yeah, so yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. D. A. It's E, none of the other. Oh, no. my. No. <laughs> the first ever drew 1,841,000 viewers. Oh, of course. What did you put? Did you put D? <laughs> okay. Yeah. God damn it. Jesus um, Christ. This is sick. <laughs> this right. is sick. What question um, are we on? Seven. Seven. Oh, my God. Mm. For question seven, you receive one point for each correct answer. Great. I love these. And there's also a bonus. <laughs> oh, my a bonus. fucking God. Great. All righty. Name the four wrestlers that competed in the Silent Night, Deadly Night match that aired on December 20th, 2017 episode of TNA Impact. You're T- lying. Yeah. Bonus who won the match. Holy shit. All right. If I use, I'm going to use some names. That use like WWE I... names if you okay. have to. That's fine. What year was this? 2017. This is awful. 2017? Fuck. This is terrible. Um, uh, who's the fucking... Oh, my God. I'm just thinking of TNA guys that I know that may have been around. Whatever. I have Yeah, four mine's guys. literally... I, I, just got, I need one more. Um, Going forward, of... no one send us quizzes that have to do with show ratings or anything like that. And don't... not None of this... None of the above stuff. <laughs> not, this is ridiculous. Trying to think of the trying to think of the guy's fucking name. Um. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. I got. I got. I you gotta got have it. one. You got I gotta it. have you one. Got it. Forget his name. Fuck. All right. Whatever. Who cares? Putting someone different. All right. Three, two, one. All right. I have. Oh, we have. Oh, we have similar guesses. I have Killer Cross or Ooh. um Heron Cross, Abyss, James Storm, and Bully Ray. I have Abyss, Bobby Roode, Bully Ray, and Samoa Joe. We got Abyss, Shark Boy. Black Rain and Relic. Bonus if Abyss won. Let's just say we both chose Abyss. <laughs> That's yes, the only one. Yes, All right, Abyss won. Abyss won. Uh, Relic. All right, nice. sick. All right, one point All each. Right, I'll, I'll take a point. Yeah, I knew, sh- I heard of Shark Boy before. Didn't know anyone else that you no, just said. No, so. can't That's say. Fine. Okay, right. three, two, going in number eight. Mm-hmm. So Whose theme song is the second track of the 1996 WCW Christmas? No, Brawl this album. is this isn't even this like isn't even cute anymore. This is just ridiculous. This is unbelievably difficult. What is there no options? It's just nope. no. There's no okay. No. Say it. Ask the question one more time. Then whose theme song is the second track of the W of the 1996 WCW Christmas Brawl album? Hey John, remember when he said that we can skip a question? You want to skip this question? Want to skip this one? All yeah, right, free skip. Skip. <laughs> free skip yeah, free skip free skip and you get two points let's give ourselves two points i'm yeah, da- all right i'm down for two <laughs> points do it. yeah all don't. right thanks for the rules jonathan okay <laughs> number nine do you want to know the answer sure sure enlighten me disco inferno awesome number nine yeah <laughs> The WWE Superstars recite the night before Christmas video was uploaded to YouTube on December 22nd, 2016. Mm -hmm. Which WWE Superstar recited the line, he was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf? That's awesome. I remember the (laughs) thing is, I kind of remember like that video, like seeing it on Twitter, but this part, no. I got a guess. 2016. 2016. You have a guess? I just wrote down a wrestler. (laughs) That's probably the best way to go about it. Say the yeah. line, just the Christmas line. Uh, he was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf. A yeah, right jolly old elf. I don't even know the rhythm of that one. Um, <laughs> all right, you good? Yep, three, two, one. I put the big show. I put Dolph Ziggler. Renee Young. Of course, of course. Superstar, superstar Renee Young. World-renowned superstar Renee right. Young. Okay, number 10. Awesome. Um, Love number 10, that. which wrestler did Kofi Kingston pour eggnog on during the six man tag team Miracle on 34th Street fight between the Usos and Madcap Moss against Drew McIntyre and the New Day? I mean, uh, 
It's not going to be the thing is it's not going to be one of the participants. Exactly. I'm going to write down one of the participants, but it's not going to be for real. Yeah, it's going to be like a fan or something like that. Who's it? Usos and Mad Cat Moss. Yes. Okay, I gotta guess. Me too. Three, two, one. Mad Cat. Jimmy Uso. Baron Corbin. Oh, right, of course. you were right. You were so right. See, of course, naturally. I mean, Mad Cap and Baron Corbin were like in a program, I think, together. But like, that's just ridiculous. Yes. No, that's ridiculous. All right, so I'm down weird. to I'm down to fly through the rest of these. Next one. We're missing question eleven. Whatever, on to twelve. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't 12. matter. You receive one yeah. point for each correct answer. Who won the Christmas? Who won the Christmas Carol sing off on the December twenty third, two thousand thirteen episode of Raw? A sing off? Mm-hmm. And there's no options. No. No. Twenty thirteen sing off. Of course. Uh... Who has who has good pipes? And was I have an immediate. I have an immediate guess. I'm having fun with it at this point. There's two. People. Um, I know. There's I'm not two getting. people two that people. Yes. What? One point for each correct answer. And wait, two winners. Apparently. Fourteen. All right, that that's fine. I got I got an answer. Mine might be right. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one. I said Big E and Kofi. It just seems like something they do. I put Miz and Maurice. Ooh. Santino, Morella, and the Great Cow. Naturally, right. of, of course. Of course. Oh, why didn't I think of them? Which one are we on right now? 13. And we have 14? You have 15. We have 15. Yes. Okay. Do these guys All even right. watch do, they, do these guys even watch wrestling? Oh my <laughs> god. Obviously not. 13? All right. What gift did R V D give Kane on the December twenty third, two thousand two episode of Raw? Two thousand two. Ah. What uh, oh, this one has a hint. Kane does not like games. He does not like games. I was going to play a kendo stick or something. Play the game. Isn't that RVD's theme song? Play the game. Oh, so man. Basically, a name hint. a game. Checkers. <laughs> yeah. No, like, honestly. Twister. <laughs> Monopoly. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, I put, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a good game. Not going to lie. Um, 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 um. All right, you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> Connect four. I put Monopoly. <laughs> Great guesses. It's Hungry, Hungry, Hippos. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That was a great game. I All hate right, it. true or false? Punishment Martinez was the final member to be revealed in Cody's team for the 2017 Christmas Surprise 10 man tag team match. Wait, where was it? What? Where? What? The Christmas Surprise 10 man tag team match in I don't know where. <laughs> Wait, what's the question? Can you read the question again? What? Yeah, are we- true or false? Punishment Martinez was the final member to be revealed in Cody's team for the 2017 Christmas Surprise 10 man tag team match. I got an answer. Whatever, yeah. whatever this is, three, two, one. False. false, false. No shot. It was punishment. Please. True. Oh, of course. No. Nope. Yep. I thought. <laughs> well, yeah. No, that's fine. I thought she would have just been like, you know, like maybe the second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth or maybe none of the above. Maybe she wasn't even on the team. I didn't. Even, Who knows? I, I Who knows? She wasn't even on the team. So last one, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Wait here. Here. You have five. I got five. I have four. I'll tell you what. Right. Oh my. Actually, no. This is so stupid. Okay. Uh, I got a wager. I got a wager. All right. Sophie. Self, end us, please. Please put us out of our misery. It's a multiple choice. Perfect. Okay. And on a high note. What was Johnny Gargano's gift to Indy Hartwell on the December 23rd, 2020 episode of NXT? Oh, this could be one you know. This could be one you know. I know these people. A, <laughs> a PS5. B, protein powder. Oh, C, Christ. an NXT women's title shot taking place at New Year's evil oh that's fun new year's evil d <laughs> an nxt women's tag team title shot with candace loray taking place at new year's evil e none of the above of course there is none of the above wait who are, can you read people who are the johnny gargano and who indy hartwell hartwell, Hart, hartwell or hartwell 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 oh and that's a she's that's still a, in um she's still in nxt now yes she's a that's a woman she, okay she Got married it. um she married dexter loomis on nxt i don't know if you remember that storyline no. no all right um, fucking I, give us the give us the options give one us more the time options yeah a ps5 <laughs> protein powder very different an nxt women's title shot taking place at new year's evil uh an nxt women's tag team title shot with candace LeRae taking place in new year's evil or e none of the above i love how it goes from ps5 to protein powder mm-hmm. and, then and then it's like women's match or tag team match yeah i don't even know there's no like i don't He's... even know how to think He's done mm-hmm. none of the above for a good amount of these. I know. A part of me wants to put none of the above. <laughs> I really want to put none of the above. But, like, I feel like 
He's got me. Jonathan got has me where he wants me right now. Oh, I, I am flustered right now. Because like you have to think like, do you go with if you if you go with the silly option, you still have two options. But if you go with the real right. option, you still have two options. All right, this is how I'm I'm clicking my pen locked in. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know these people for sure. I don't know the what was happening around this time, but. I think I'm. I want to choose one of the silly ones. Uh, yeah, John. It's. But <laughs> I don't I'm, know what I don't know what Jonathan has uh, for us. He's confused me this entire time. Are you ready, Dante? Good luck. Yeah. Go ahead. Good luck, John. So thanks for being here. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, so. Anytime. Three, two, one. I put D. Oh, no! I also put D. And you wager two. I wager uh-huh. two as well. Fuck. It is E. None of the above. Whatever. That's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. Whatever, dude. Whatever whatever that's whatever whatever okay i okay whatever <laughs> not bitter no. i'm not bitter at all it's the holidays what am i to be bitter about i finished with two points finish jonathan, with three you happy you happy jonathan is that what you wanted is that what you wanted yeah i hope jesus yeah. i hope you're happy jesus christ wow dude yeah merry fucking christmas dude <laughs> yeah Thanks, Jonathan, for sending us that quiz. I'm sure you put a lot of time and effort into that one. <laughs> too um, much time, someone said. Too much time. I think you put a little um, too much time. And you took some years off my life because of this. So thank you very much. John, it's funny because uh, the last few quizzes we've done, we've said that's the hardest one. I keep. I, I think these keep getting harder. I think we keep uh, choosing the hard quizzes. I think I think in the new year, I think we're going to maybe go back to the to the still challenging, but I want to have a little bit more fun. <laughs> we used to have yeah, fun this was doing a, these. Listen, look at, the, look at our setup right now. This is a one-time thing, okay? We're, this was this a mess. A one-time episode. No quizzes with TV ratings. But uh, yeah, if you want to submit a quiz, just like Jonathan, send it to scwquiz at gmail.com. Before we close out, my name is Dante. You can follow me on Twitter, Dante on Deck, social platforms, Dante Toro, Dante Toro 11, everywhere else. John, where can they find you? I'm John. You can follow me at Raspy Taylor everywhere. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, all of that stuff. For 20,000 subscribers, our Spotify, our, uh, sorry, our Instagrams are looking kind of light. Yeah, we need <laughs> I'm get, just we need saying. Get those. So I'm Sophie's, just saying. Sophie's got the followers. Check us out on, uh, you know, all the podcast platforms as well. Check out podcast, Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to podcasts. Check out all of our other videos. And like John said, uh, 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. We can't wait to actually do this again in person uh, because next week we're back next, next week. week. We're that's back all it is. Week. We're back next week. We're back next week. Um, and that's it for me, John. Everyone, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Have a safe and great time with friends, family, and whoever and however you celebrate. Getting this community back i think i don't want to speak for dante but it seems like it is my favorite gift that could have given been given this uh this holiday season oh my heart is gonna explode john we're very thankful for each and every one of you we appreciate all the support you have given us since we have been back we can't wait for 2023 it's gonna be a great year and we can't wait to bring you all along with us so thank you again again i'm not going to be sick anymore next week so we are back to our regular setup per usual next week we thank you guys we'll see you in the next one peace